Because what do you picture when you um, picture a megalodon, Peter? Just a giant killer shark. It looks like a like what? Like a giant white shark, right? Yeah, yeah. a gargantuan great white shark. Yeah. Right. Well, a new study. Scientists have reanalyzed the spine of fossilized megalodons. Okay. And they're saying, so here's the title of the story. The megalodon didn't look like a 50-foot great white shark after all. Ooh, controversial. Yeah. Because every picture, every image, every movie, <laughs> it's movies. just a 50-foot great white shark. Yeah, exactly, right? Very so this is controversial. What we're, this is what we're used to seeing. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but contrary to pop popular belief, it's much more closely related to the short fin mako, not the great white. That's a cop out. Forest what? Is, is definitely not It's a cop not out. That's not this. controversial. Look at a short fin mako. That just looks like a slightly smaller great white. <laughs> it kind of so does. So now you're like, oh, it doesn't look like a great well, white. It looks like the smaller great white. But isn't the mako like a little more slender? It is, and it's faster, and it's it's more built. But that's like being like, oh, that Ferrari doesn't look like a Ferrari. It looks like a Ferrari. Right. No, yeah. see, I, it looks <laughs> like, like a small Ferrari. Yeah. As, as the layman, I've just looked at both of these sharks, and I can't tell the difference. Okay, but no, but okay, look at that one there. Yeah. The yeah. great white's got... It, it, a little it, more aerodynamic. The Mako's more aerodynamic, yeah. right? Like it is. Aquadynamic. They're in water. But yes, it <laughs> sure. is. I would prefer if they flew. <laughs> it is. It, it is. I, I mean, it is. A Mako... And a, look, there's a really good comparison picture. The Mako and the great white are they're both in that um, not salmon shark mackerel shark family right so they all live in the same family so they're going to be close looking and closely related but 90% of people when they spot a big mako from the boat go oh look a great white shark that's where like yeah. almost all your great white shark stories come from yeah um, and vice versa a lot of people see a small white shark and be like that's a mako so I mean a lot of people can't even tell them apart when they're sure. spotting them. So. I mean, most people are idiots, though, like me. I, I would definitely wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Between so Peter would be like, cool, dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> With teeth. Should I swim up to it and play? Wait, do uh, dolphin have teeth? Negative. Well, they do, but not like... Not, right, right. They have like kind of cony. Yeah, little right. conical teeth on the beak. Hold so the they examined the way they... So there's an exciting piece of news, Forrest. If you didn't okay. like the first part, let me give you the second part. So... Previous estimates of the Meg, uh -huh. contrary to the Statham films. <laughs> uh, Where it was were, 170 feet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and lived in a volcano under the ocean. Right. <laughs> um, but previous estimates were about like 36, 37 feet. Okay. For a Meg. Yeah. Big shark, yeah? Very big. Large. The new findings propose the Megalodon was 50 feet long, possibly up to 66 feet long. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a huge so, difference. So, like, almost double the size. That's, well, that's a huge difference. That's but six basketball hoop lengths <laughs> tall. The, the difference, yeah. let me show you guys More something. More than that. Kyle, I'm going to send you something to pull up here, okay? Because the, the thing that I think people always forget is that the length changes so much to the overall size. And I'm sending oh, something yeah. to Kyle right now. But when you go, oh, that was an eight-foot fish or a nine-foot fish or, you know, a 12-foot megalodon or a 14-foot megalodon, you're talking about an exponential growth difference dude. because when, of the girth. When you showed yeah. the 12-foot sturgeon side-by-side -side with the nine-foot sturgeon? That's what I was just sending to Kyle. The 12-foot yeah. sturgeon is like three times the size. I yeah. just sent those photos to oh, okay. Kyle because yeah. I was like, I'm going to show you the difference between a nine-foot and a 12-foot. And in your head, you're like, oh, that's only this much bigger. Right, right. Because you in your head you go, it's it's literally this much bigger. That's not that's not totally. that that different. But look at it here. I mean, that's a oh yeah. That's yeah. That's, that's an ele massive. eleven and a nine basically. But Kyle, I don't know if you have the other picture. Um, it's just the the weight difference. That eleven foot fish is like four hundred and fifty pounds, and the nine foot p fish is like one hundred and fifty pounds. Yeah, yeah. That's wild. So so picture so yeah three times the weight. Yeah, with this much added with length. only twenty five percent more length. Right.